Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the month of May. So for May, this is for May. This is for Sagittarius for the month of May. So what do we have for Sagittarius for the month of May? One card, please. Something is going to be crystal clear for you. Crystal clear. And I see that because my crystal ball is clear. And a lot of times my crystal ball is not clear. Okay. So something is, it's pretty darn clear. I just, I can see it very clearly. So you're going to be seeing something very, very clearly. You may get a light bulb moment where there's something that becomes clear. If you've been confused or you've been, you know, unsure, you're going to get a moment of clarity. That's something I just needed to tell you. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Ooh, man holding coin, and it happens to be reversed. So this guy's giving it away. So you may be getting some money. Instead of holding it, he's he's letting it go. He, he, there's letting go of money, you know, giving. You may be getting some money. Here he's holding on to it, okay? Here he's giving it away. So I'm wondering if you're going to be getting some, or you're losing money. You could be spending money, overspending money, uh, or something like that, or you're getting some money. This could go multiple different ways. I feel as here, if I was to get this upright, I would probably tell you that some, you've, you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of money and they're holding on to it and they're not giving it. Here, you're either losing it or, you're, or somebody's giving it to you. So it could go multiple different ways. Um... Let's get some more cards and see what comes up. Uh, hmm. Somebody could be losing money. They could be losing money. They could be losing money for unknown reasons. Or you could be receiving it. I don't know. What is the meaning of that reversed? Usually, it's losing it. I think it's losing money. Now, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a boss, or you could be dealing with a husband, or somebody in your circle that is losing money, okay? Could be a father. Could be you, whatever. It looks like it's a masculine, right? That is losing money. Maybe he spends too much money or something like that, or he's losing his income or losing his job. Woo! Okay, well, there's our clarification, okay? That is definitely our clear. This is a loss. Somebody could be becoming unemployed. No offense. This is somebody that is irresponsible, um, lazy, unhealthy, a drops out, doesn't follow through. This is a financial loss. Not qualified, um, no long-term plan, unemployed. We could, a sponger. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with this person or if you are this person. This is somebody who doesn't have anything to offer. Okay, there's this person doesn't have any money to give you. Okay, that's what it is. This is our clarification card. No doubt about it. So there's no there's no contingency plan. Somebody didn't follow through. They didn't own up to their end of the bargain. You know, when you don't end up to your end of the bargain, you don't get paid. So whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody isn't getting the money that they thought they were going to get. Got to follow through with the plan. Somebody didn't follow through. Somebody is be getting fired, okay? Just being honest with you. Or they're not getting the payout that they thought they were going to. This is May. Remember, we're talking about May. Five of Cups. This is crying about it. Somebody may be crying about it. They're crying over a loss, crying over the spilled milk, not realizing that there's another opportunity. There is another opportunity. We have somebody that keeps on going back to their same old ways. They keep going back to something. You can't keep doing the same things. you got to make a plan, a new plan, set goals, follow through. Ace of Swords. So this is taking a new approach, coming up with a new idea. Uh seeing something clearly because this is clarity and a wake-up call i do believe that sagittarius somebody is going to get a wake wake up call they've been focusing on something that is over with okay it's done it's over there's no emotional fulfillment there there's really not making you happy there's another opportunity but you can't see it because you're focusing on something that doesn't make you happy 
uh, I mean, you focus on something that doesn't make you happy. You can't see that there's a better opportunity. So there is a better opportunity, but somebody is delaying their own success by focusing on that. And there's, I'm wondering if somebody could end up getting fired. They're crying about it, but it's time to come up with something new, a new idea, a new approach. It's time. It's time. This is about accepting the truth, seeing the truth. Okay, so this is taking on a new approach. So you're going to be taking on a new approach. Three of Pentacles, reverse. So somebody is definitely losing a job. They're not going to be working with the same people anymore. Um, you could be dealing with a bunch of gossip at work, people that don't support you. Um, there's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of, te uh, of togetherness. Can't work together. Lack of harmony with others. So when you can't work well with others, you know, then you might get fired. Somebody might get fired, whether it's you or somebody in your circle, somebody that is around you. Um, Empress. So we have an Empress here. The Empress is sitting pretty. She's very creative. She gets creative. And so I think we have a feminine. This is a feminine energy. Okay. This gives birth to something new. So there's a painful situation that gives birth to a painful release. Okay. You have to release. When the Empress gives birth, she releases and it and it hurts. Okay. So there's going to be a painful situation that comes about that uh, brings about a new existence. Okay. You're go about to go down a new path, whether you like it or not. Okay. I think you're going to be forced to when it's time, it's time. When it's time, it's time. So it's it's time. I was going to swear, but I didn't. It's time. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to take a new approach. It's time for you to go down that new path. Um, this is the birth of a new life, and it's painful. It comes after some sort of of letdown. Okay, so there's going to be a letdown, and but this will lead you to abundance. It makes you get creative. Okay, so you're going to be creating something new after something ends that you didn't want to end because it was safe it was safe there so um yeah you're probably gonna feel like this when it happens you're gonna be like this isn't fair this isn't i didn't deserve this 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 isn't fair to me but everything happens for a reason so i think that um this really feels like an injustice and you probably won't be happy with the decision that was made um, but it was made for a reason. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Now, this woman, um, this could be a boss, could be a mother, whoever it is. Uh, she is very abundant. She knows her value. She has multiple options. She is a creator. She, uh, is very wise. She has life experience behind her back and she's very honest. She's very truthful. She cuts right through the bullshit, okay? She's not into playing any sort of game. She doesn't deal with people who don't put in effort. If you don't put in effort, then huh, I don't need you. That kind of energy. So the Empress is a very strong individual who has already suffered, okay? She's already suffered. So it looks like she has made a decision and you may not like it. You may not like it. So this could be a mother, a wife, somebody that you work for. Whoever she is, she has multiple options. She knows her value. She is abundant. She's wealthy. She's also very nurturing. She is very loving. And she will give, but she only gives to people who deserve. And it looks like somebody hasn't lived up to their end of the bargain. Emperor! Woo! Woohoo! So we have a power couple here. We have the, this is the queen of all queens and this is the king of all kings. Now definitely we're dealing with, um, we probably have some power struggles. Somebody has not been treated fairly. There's been an imbalance, a lack of harmony. These people have been having a hard time working together because they both like to be in control. They both like to be the boss. So I feel like um, this guy... Um, is making a decision based on the facts. He is making a decision based on the facts. He is the boss. He is the boss. Woo! Yep, facts. Based on the facts. So we do have a masculine that knows something. He sees something very, very, very clearly. Now you may be dealing with a Libra. Uh, Libra. Libra and Taurus are very prominent here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, either way, we have somebody here that it has made a decision. 
The decision has been made. They know what they want and they're going for it. They've done their investigation. Um, now, I'm wondering if there's the law. There could be the law getting involved. If You know, we could have a judge here. We could have a judge that gets involved or the law that gets involved. There's been an injustice. Somebody has lied. They didn't tell the truth. They... Um, Whatever has happened, the facts are good. The truth is coming out, okay? If somebody has been lying and they've been hiding it, the truth is coming out. Somebody's lies are about to come out, okay? Because there's been some sort of investigation or an investigation is being done, okay? There's definitely a power struggle. There's a power struggle between a few people here. It could be a thir three people. Okay, we have the Empress, we have the Emperor, and then we have the King of Swords. We could have three, and then we have the Three of Pentacles here. So there could be three people that just can't work together. They can't work together. Somebody's going to get fired. And this is all about money. It's all about money. It's all about who's the boss? Who's the boss? And she's got the money. She's very abundant. She's very abundant. She's got the money. It looks like she's holding on to it. Somebody's not going to get the money. Interesting. She knows the truth. She knows the truth. She sees a situation. This is clarity. It's right behind her. So somebody's about to get a wake-up call. You don't want to work together. You don't want to follow through. You can't follow through with the plan. This is not following through with the plan. So maybe these two aren't following through with the plan. Somebody's not following through with the plan. Not fair. That's an injustice. To lie and not, this is a contract. Somebody's not following through with the contract. You don't follow through with the contract, you don't get paid. Anyhow. So, we have a masculine energy here that is probably, it looks like he's not very happy. Somebody may not be happy. Ooh, there's been some manipulation. Definitely been some lies. We have a very tricky situation going on here. Somebody that is highly manipulative. Looks like both these people are. Could be one person. But this is a master manipulator. Feeling powerless. Somebody has abused their power. And they're not really qualified for the job. They may have taken action without thinking. They may have thought she was naive. Good luck, boys. She's not. So we have somebody here that these people may be delusional. They didn't plan. There's no planning here. This is a thief. So we have some masculine here that, you know, thought they were in control. They thought they were in control. They thought that they could deceive. They thought that they could lie. Math, serious lies here. Somebody was seriously lying to this feminine. I feel like she's decided she's not going to work with these people anymore. This is bad karma. Karma's a bitch. So yeah, we got karma here. We got some karma. This is, somebody took action without thinking. Probably these two people. This is deceit. This is lies, deception. This one is too. Somebody was lying, but she's so, she's wise. She's wise. Very intelligent. Okay. So taking a new approach, coming up with a new idea. Oh, shutting down emotionally. We have an empress here that is shutting down emotionally. It's like, I don't care. I don't care. Not happy at all. We have an empress here that is not happy. Because she knows the truth. She sees the truth. She knows that she this is an injustice. She knows that she was taken advantage of. She knows it. And it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Her heart is, it's, it's hard. It's heartbreaking. So we have an empress that is shutting down her feelings. She's probably, she's probably feeling sad. She's sad. She's sad. She's crying. She's upset. She's, she's dealing with the separation. She's feeling stabbed in the heart. She's, this is heartbreaking. So in May, I feel like we have a mother or a woman or a feminine that is hurting. She's hurting over being taken advantage of. She's been taken advantage. She's been lied to. Yeah, she's been lied to. 
So now it's now it's now it's very emotional, very very separation. We have an emotional separation here because she realizes that she has been lied to by this masculine who really doesn't have any money or doesn't have any long term plan. Um, wasn't in it for love. Wasn't in it for the right reasons. Was in it for just the money. This person was in it just for the money. Just for the money. Just for the money. So I do have somebody here that is going to be making a gesture, I believe. Wanting to start over. Wanting to start fresh. I feel like we have a masculine here that is willing to prove. Willing to start at the beginning. Willing to do whatever it takes to prove himself. After he did something that he shouldn't have. I feel like he did something that he shouldn't have. Maybe he was fearful. I don't know. He lied. He lied about something. He may be apologizing. There could be an apology that is coming. This could be an apology. There could definitely be an apology that is coming. This guy wants to start fresh. Start over. So I feel like we have an empress here that is going to be, it's like extending, somebody's going to be in extending an olive branch. And I feel like it's an apology of some sort. There, for some of you, there could be a brand new, a new, uh, this is going a different route, a new doorway opening, okay? For some of you, you get fired, no offense, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you, you get fired or you get, yeah, unemployed, and this opens up a new door, it opens up a new door to start fresh where you follow through, you have an opportunity to build up abundance and if you follow through with the plan, you know, you can't quit, no quitting, no quitting midway. You have to you have to you have to follow through with the plan. So this is an opportunity to start fresh with an empress who this is a woman. It's like a woman has a job for you. This woman has a job for you that you could do. But you're gonna have to follow through with it. So somebody is going to get a new opportunity after being unemployed from somebody that they didn't they just didn't do the job. They didn't follow through. But now there's a new opportunity opening up. And this is an opportunity to start fresh if you can really keep on track. Don't lose your focus. Set the goal and follow through. Lay the foundation for something new. You're going to have to work really, really, really hard and follow through even though it's not easy. So I think there's a new opportunity that is coming in May. With perhaps somebody that you worked with in the past but didn't follow through and there's a chance to start over. But this person, I'm not sure, it's just like she's, she's hurt. She's hurt. She's definitely hurt. Um, so anyway, I feel like there's a new doorway opening that could, where you could get your foot in the door. But it isn't going to be easy. Good luck.